so much. Hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to cry out, amen. It's time to come together on one accord. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Our family is are arriving. Yes, Sim4 has joined. God bless you, God bless you. Uh, Marcy Collins, God bless you. Uh, my daddy's girl, God bless you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Yes, from Perth, God bless you. God, blessings, blessings, blessings. Thank you, Karen, for joining us. Thank you uh, so much. Thank you for coming on on this morning. It's a new day. It's a brand new season, new opportunities, new dreams, new visions, all the way from Canada. Blessings from Savannah, Georgia. We are so excited. Hello from Oklahoma. Thank you so much for following us. Thank you for your support. Sharice Brown, Carolyn Jai Graham. Carolyn says she made it. Yes. You sure yes. did. And we made it. <laughs> Hey, let me tell you something. We made it. Listen, we you're not the only it. one that made it. First time from Austin. Let me say yes. this. Last night, it was about 1230. I think I told the testimony earlier. Those of you still coming on, inviting your friends, your followers. Yes. So it was It was like um, 1030. I said, I'm going to take a quick nap. Quick nap. And I'm going to... A quick nap. Y'all knew you had a quick nap. <laughs> like a power nap. And so in that quick nap... Yes. Help me, Holy Ghost. By 1230, I woke up. <laughs> I turned over and I looked at my wife. I said, uh, baby, I said, it's 1230. And she said... Um, Yes, it is. And I said, oh, well, midnight cry is over. Praise the God Lord. God bless you, Jackie Randall. God bless you. God bless you, um, Karimu Overton. God bless you, Gwen Vincent. Bless you, woman of God. We're praying for you, knowing God is, is opening great doors. Deborah Willis, thank you for joining us. Good morning. Good morning from um, Priscilla, Chicago, I think it is. Um, God bless you. First timers, please give some hearts some, for some first timers. Um, show them some love. We're so excited to have them join our family. God bless you. We, uh, God is doing some amazing things in, um, through the lives of his people. You are his sons and you are his daughters. And God is showing himself strong. He's showing you off. I mean, he's, God is showing out like never before. Good. Yes. Hey, yes. Apostle Glenn, how are you, sir? God My bless friend, you. Glenn Bleakley. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I just kind of pulled it back. Thank you so very much. We appreciate you all. Thank you for encouraging us and for praying for us because we could not do what God has called us to do without you, without your support, without your love, without you coming and joining with us um, and standing in the gap and your willingness to stand in the gap on behalf of others. And that is to ensure that the perfect will of God is manifested. Good morning all the way from Jacksonville, Florida, from Houston. Thank you so very much. We love you all so very much. Thank you. We are excited about um, your testimony. We're excited about uh, your message. We're excited about your story. Amen. Amen. Yes, and Glenn, party you're, gifts too. You're, you're, Glenn, you're in uh, you're in Australia now. Wow. Are you, are you just on an assignment there, or are you living there now? Wow, all the way from Australia. We've got some really, really faithful followers from Australia, and we're so excited. Good morning from Pennsylvania. You know God. Well, he said he's living there now. Oh wow. Okay, inbox me. I got to talk to you. Yes. Because I got a I got a prophetic word uh, not too long. I got a prophetic word when I was in Peru last year about Australia. So we're going to talk more about it. Thank you all for inviting your friends. Please share. Grace One, thank you so much for inviting your followers. Yes, you are here. I see. Oi, oi, oi. Yes, <laughs> I love it. I we love, love it. our we Absolutely. It's amazing how God begins to, to show you and begins to declare to you the things that he's going to do for you. Because even as my husband was saying, we got a prophetic word about Australia. And God has really connected us with some awesome, awesome people from Australia that are really a family that's been on, on the scopes. Dallas, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Um, I think it's T. Alexandra, 602. Thank you for joining us all the way from San Antonio, Texas, Los Angeles. You know, just different time zones, different um, areas of the world, but we're all together. Amen. We all have the same heart, the same mind, and that is to glorify God. And that is to receive the fullness of everything that God has spoken over our life, because this is the year of fulfillment. Amen. Amen. So we are excited. Yes. Um, Stuttgart, uh, Stuttgart um, Arkansas. Is that Stuttgart? Ar Stuttgart. Oh, Stuttgart. okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, my husband That's is from Arkansas. Ground. Yes, he knows all of those cities, and it's a beautiful area. And we're, um, I'm always so blessed when we've been able to visit um, there in Arkansas. Beautiful, beautiful country. God bless you, Valerie Long. Love you, appreciate you, Sherry Palmer. Valerie, uh, love. As a matter of fact, God bless you, Michelle, Teresa, Zick. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Royal T. God bless you. You are awesome. Great, great things. Yes, Reset 2017. Amen from Austin, Texas. Barbara Ann, we certainly appreciate and value you. God bless you, great woman of God. Miss Jada Wilson, we love you too. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. So um, as, we, as you know, God has really been speaking to his people about his mighty acts, the things that he's going to do and fulfill in your words suddenly. Um, and, and suddenly means straightway. It means immediately. It means something God is doing right now um, without notice. And so without permission that God is doing things suddenly. As we've been looking in the word of God, we see that um, there, there are documented uh, instances where God moves suddenly, where God um, began to deliver suddenly, even through Jesus Christ. We saw him raising the dead suddenly we saw um, the woman with the issue of blood as she touched the hem of this garment that she was made whole suddenly because she said within herself if I just may touch and so it was the faith that touched the hem of his garment and so with that Jesus he, he, he granted her her request her faith was beyond um, the norm it, it went to a new level um, in, in her life she hadn't had to have that type of faith and she didn't know um, about that type of faith until she heard about Jesus and so it's through Jesus Christ that we are um, more than conquerors amen that are uh, in every area of our life that we're healed we're restored we're refreshed renewed revived in Jesus name so um, thank you all so very much. You've, you've um, been giving different testimonies about um, what God is doing in your life and how he's been manifesting suddenly. And, um, and so we're really excited about that. But the best is yet to come. That's just, that's just the tip of the iceberg of what God is about to do. Amen? And so I, I know that you're really excited about that. And someone said they needed a suddenly right now. God is the God of right now. Amen? He's our present help in the very time of trouble, knowing that he's the same God yesterday, today, as well as forevermore. Amen. Oh, keep going. So, you were, you were, you were moving, <laughs> moving strong. So again, it, it's just, even in, in uh, we gave testimony on February 14th of our testimony and how God uh, brought us together and we got married suddenly after two months because it doesn't take God long to do anything. Sometimes we drag it out through different things, but it doesn't take God long. He knows um, what his plans are for us. He knows exactly what we need when we need it. He knows what he has to do in order to get it to us. A amen. And so sometimes we worry. Sometimes we allow stress to consume us. We allow the enemy to speak into our ear and begin to show us the facts. And then we focus our attention on the facts. We focus on how tired we are. We focus on what we don't see yet. Amen. But it's through faith that we're able to see it through faith we're able to receive it because the enemy is after your hope and if he can take your hope and, and your hope is believing and trusting that something is coming that God is going to perform his word so you're hoping for something that you don't have and so when you receive it you don't have to hope for it anymore because it's already there so the enemy is after your hope that you don't um, have an expectation and so tonight we want to pray for your expectation that God will Will continue to do what you're expecting him to do. Don't allow the enemy to take your expectation. Amen. I was looking at a yes. text of scripture. We were dealing with this thought about suddenly. Again, we know that the word suddenly means immediately, straightway, abruptly, without notice. And uh, and so when we when I looked at the text and you were talking earlier and that thing just stuck with me. And every now and then, uh, something that we say we'll be in one thing and God will just cause something to stick with me. Well, right. the thing that called that He caused to stick with me tonight. Uh, was him being Jehovah Jireh. Mm. And I don't know who you are and I don't know who's watching tonight, but as we pray tonight at midnight, we're going to pray Jesus. about God becoming Jehovah Jireh Jesus. in your life. Yes. Uh, because if, if you notice, the name Jehovah Jireh was never used before Abraham uh, meets, meets God as Jehovah Jireh uh, in, uh, in Genesis chapter uh, 22 and verse number... Where we at? Je Jehovah Jireh is uh, verse uh, 14. Mm -hmm. And so we know that this is the occurrence when uh, God tempts Abraham and he tells him, 
uh, that he would um, that he that, you know he wanted him to take Isaac and go sacrifice him. Mm-hmm. And so when he goes and takes Isaac to go sacrifice him, all of a sudden he gets on the mountain because the, you know the boy asks. He said, "I see the wood. I see. Right. I see. I see everything to make the fire. I see everything." But he said, "But where's the sacrifice?" Where's the sacrifice. And so so because the boy was old enough and mature enough to understand that it, that that whenever they're going to go worship, that worship involved a sacrifice. A sacrifice. And so in the midst of their worship, in the midst of the sacrifice that Abraham is getting mm. ready to make, then all of a sudden God provides the ram in the bush, which then. Abraham really realizes him, and this is the first time even in mm. anywhere in the Bible that God begins to be Jehovah Jireh to his people. Oh and God. Jehovah Jireh is is a word which is uh you know the Lord God our provider. And so when we look at that and God begins to be your provider, and so tonight we want to pray. We want to pray for you to suddenly find a ram in the bush and Jesus. find a, a scenario where yes. God begins to become a provider for you on levels that he is that you have not known him before. Right. Abraham had faith. Now, but uh, trust me, he he had faith to wait those 25 years and all of a sudden see the fulfillment of the right. promise which he had. Mm-hmm. And some of you are like Abraham. You've gotten the promise on one level, but you need to know God on the next level. So let's pray. Uh, matter of fact, if you will, invite your followers. If you haven't invited people, invite. If you're on Facebook Live, just tap that share button. If you are on, uh, if you're on Periscope, just go, just go ahead and, uh, and just invite your followers for us one more time because I want to pray. Amen. Because I believe that there are some people on here that need breakthrough. Right. And the scripture says that where two of us should touch and agree concerning Jesus. anything that we ask, that we'll have the petitions that we ask for. And so when we come together on one accord, one mm. mind, one heart, yes. the scripture said that, that that when they came, when the people came together, that all of us, that God Himself came down to see about it, and He said Jesus. there was nothing that they would imagine to do that they did not achieve. And so I'm telling you that when we come together on one accord, when two or three of us are touching and agreeing, yes. when we're all standing in agreement in prayer, yes. that God will begin to break through. Not not only for one, not only for two, not only for for three, but he will begin to break through on mass levels. And so, Father, we stand in agreement with your word. We stand in agreement for these, your people, your sons and your daughters. Father, those that are on this line, God, that need you to move, God, that need you to manifest yourself, God, for them suddenly, oh God, as Jehovah Jireh, even as you did it for Abraham, God, and even as you manifest the promise of Isaac, God, and then the day came when it was necessary, God, for him to be willing to sacrifice his only son, but Father, you saw his heart, and you saw the condition of his heart, and you saw uh, how broken and how contrite his heart was, God, and how he stood before you, willing to sacrifice everything that he had, Father, we declare now, even as these, your sons and daughters stand before you, God, and they're willing to sacrifice all they have a heart to give to sow God to see the kingdom work come to pass and so Father we thank you now God that your anointing is flowing in this place God that your power oh God is pray- is, is in this place oh God in the name of Jesus so Father we thank you even now that you're suddenly releasing oh Heavenly Father the anointing God that they need God to break through in the area of their finances oh God everything that's been held up God we pray now that it be suddenly released in Jesus name God begin to touch them God begin to move for them God begin Oh, Heavenly Father, to release everything that they need. For God, these your sons and daughters, they have been faithful, they have been committed. And so, Father, we stand in the gap of intercession, God, and we declare this is their suddenly season. This is the season where your word, your prophetic words for them, God, will begin to manifest like never before. It is the time and the season, God, when you have trusted them, God. They've been tried, they've been tested, and they have found to be true, oh, Heavenly Father. They've come forth, oh, God, as pure gold. So, Father, we thank you now, again, that everything that's been held up, everything that's been stopped, everything that the enemy has had his hand upon would be loose now in the name of Jesus God it would be released to them oh God it would be restored to them God and everything the enemy has stolen even as we said before God would have to be returned sevenfold because your word declares that when the thief is found out he has to restore sevenfold so father I thank you not only for the sevenfold blessing even for a thousandfold blessing upon these your sons and your daughters God release it unto them now oh God according to the authority of your word God we trust you we believe in you we know that you are God oh heavenly father who has never failed God you have never uh, you have never missed God, you have never not known, oh God. And so, Father, we thank you, God, that every person that's on this scope that needs a supernatural suddenly, God, that you are blessing them, you're moving for them, God, you're releasing things for them in the name of Jesus. God, there are some on here, God, that are in a position, oh Heavenly Father, even as the man who came to the other man at midnight and was in a place of importunity, Father, there are many who are on this line, God, that you are their only hope, you are their only situation, you're their only solution. And so, Father, I thank you that because you are the Alpha and the Omega. God, you are the omnipotent God. You're the all-powerful God. You're the omniscient God. You're the God with all knowledge. God, you would give them a supernatural understanding, God, of how to 
tap into the wealth, God, that is already theirs. God, give them witty inventions. God, give it to them suddenly, Father, so they can tap into what's already inside of them, into what's already declared for them. Even as I was watching a video today, God, and I saw, oh, Heavenly Father, I saw this video on, on, on even on Oprah where, uh, where, uh, where Kevin Hart was saying uh, that, 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 that um, I, I think he was saying that, that his mom told him to look in the Bible, and it took him a while to get to the Bible to look in the Bible, but when he looked in the Bible, the provision had already been met. The six checks that he needed for all six months were there. So, Father, I pray now Jesus. that you would begin to open up the eyes of their yes. understanding, that they would know not only what the hope of their calling is, mm. but you would open up the eyes of understanding, God, that they would see the supernatural ram in the bush, God, Jesus. but you have placed it there. You've prepositioned yes. it there. You've already yes. made a yes. way out of no way. God, we're Jesus. not waiting on you to make a way. You've already made a made way. A we way. just have to have already. the understanding of yes. what you've already done. So, Father, we pray now, God, that you would begin to open the eyes of these, your sons and your daughters, God, that they could really begin to grasp and understand, God, what you've already prepositioned for them in glory, oh, Heavenly Father. Father, for your word declares, God, that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above abundantly. all that we could ask or yes. think according to the power that worketh in us. God, Jesus. we said exceeding abundantly. You said, God, that we are more than conquerors, oh, Heavenly Father. Jesus. God, you're not the God of just enough. You're the God of more than more enough. Than. And so, Father, we declare, God, that more than enough, God, is moving, oh, God, that you're doing mighty works, God, by your hand, that you're touching, God, for these, your sons and your daughters, God, that yes. they don't lack any good thing for your My word God. declares, oh, Heavenly Father. Yes. Oh, God, yes. that we would lack no good thing, God. If we delight ourselves in you, you would give us the desires of our heart. Yes. And so, Father, we stand in agreement with the authority of your word, and we declare, God, that it's being loose mm. now. Every intercessor on here yes. is praying. Every intercessor on here My is God. bombarding heaven. Jesus. God, we're standing in one accord, in, in, in one agreement, oh, Heavenly Father, one mind, one sound, one spirit. And God, we're declaring that this thing is coming to pass for your people, oh, God. We we will not take no for an answer, Jesus. God. We are believing, Woo! God, that by God. when your word declares Jesus. that we're two of us touching yes. the Greek concerning anything that we yes. ask, God, that yes. we'll have the petitions that we ask yes. for. We thank you, God, that when your word declares that if we say unto the mountain, be thou removed and Jesus. be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in our heart, but shall believe the things that we say shall come to yes. pass. Oh, Heavenly Father, then we'll have what we say. That means when we come, Woo! there is no option B. There is no option C. There is only one option when we believe you for things. And God, that is the manifestation of the things that we're praying for because we're not praying amiss God that we may consume yes. it upon our lust but God we are praying oh heavenly father in accordance with your will for our lives bless your sons and your daughters open up doors for them God that they may serve in the kingdom oh heavenly father but your word declares that it's your it's, it, it's your good pleasure God to give them yes. the kingdom and so father we thank you now that the kingdom treasures are being opened up now to your sons and your daughters God that your kingdom treasures yes. oh God are being opened up open to them up, now God. in open, the name of Jesus open. father they're living in a perpetual yes. Yes. Ever, uh, open heaven, yes. God, that it is suddenly happening for them. God, that open heavens are flowing over them Jesus. now. God, that you're opening up windows and pouring out blessings they have not room enough to receive because these are your sons and daughters, God. They're tithers. They're givers, God. They are, they are committed, oh, Heavenly Father, to sowing into the kingdom work, God. They're, they're not only giving their, their resources, God, but yes. they are giving, oh, Heavenly Father, of their time. They're giving of their talent. God, they're giving of their abilities. And Father, because they've been faithful to do that, we thank you that we can stand in the gap of intercession. Mm -hmm. And Father, we can decree a thing and watch it be established in the earth, oh God. We thank you that the entire earth, oh God, is groaning, waiting on the manifestation of the Jesus. sons of God. We thank you that the entire earth is coming into My alignment God. with your plan, oh God. Mm -hmm. We thank you that even now, not only is the earth coming into alignment, but all heaven is aligning, God, mm -hmm. with your word for your people, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you now, oh Heavenly Father, that not only is the earth, oh God, in alignment with it, and not only is heaven in alignment with it, but God, we thank you now that you are watching over your word to perform it, that even as we Jesus. decree and declare your word. You are watching over your word to perform it and it must manifest in the earth for these your sons and your daughters. Yes. Father, yes. I pray for every leader that's on this line. My Father, God. I pray for My every God. church member. I pray for every, every business person, God, that you blow upon their businesses and cause their business, God, to flourish in a way that it has never flourished yes. before in their lives. Yes. Let this be the year of manifestation for them. Let this be the year, God, that they see your hand upon them and see you as Jehovah Jireh like they have never seen you before in the name of Jesus. Father, let sudden growth and God's sudden ideas give yes. them supernatural yes. marketing plans, even as you've done for us in times past. God, breathe upon them. God, let a fresh wind, let an open heaven be upon their businesses. God, I just see that for business owners and I see new witty inventions. Your business Jesus. was stuck or you had a business idea or you had a book idea and you've gotten a, a cramp on your writing, but I pray now that in the name of Jesus, every place that's been stagnant and stale in your life would be broken through now that you 
you could go forth and do all that you've been called Jesus. to do in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And I bind every diabolical de and demonic scheme of hell that's been coming against you to hold up with the, 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 uh, the, from you prospering. You will prosper. You yes. will go forth. Yes. You will break loose. Yes. You will break out in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, million dollar ideas, billion dollar ideas. Yes. I hear the Lord say, you've been thinking too low. Think again. Think again. Go back and think again. Go back to the drawing table. Go back and strategize again. Come on My with a, a plan, not just to make My just God. enough, yes. not just a plan to pay your bills. You need to come up with a plan and a witty invention that's going to create the kind of income that you need to pay everybody's bills in your family so that for Jeez, two and three economy. more generations yes. that you can literally be known as economy changers. I Jeez. love that. And so God has given us that kind of anointing. If people in the secular arena can create that kind of wealth, then God can do the same thing for you. So I pray now that everything your hand touch, it prospers and everywhere yes. the sole of your foot tread, yes. that it, pos it yes. prospers in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, we're taking God out of the box and we're treating yes. him like the supernatural God that he is. You mean to tell me that people that don't even love God can come up with supernatural ideas and the saints of God cannot come up with creative ideas and witty inventions? I Jesus. decree now that your mind is coming alive, oh that God, your mind God, is opening God, up, that you're able God. to receive a supernatural Jesus. impartation from Say God that Say takes so. you to the next level in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, relationships are now coming online. Relationships yes, yes. now are being transformed My and turned God. around. Marriages are coming back Jesus. together. Every, every marriage that the Jesus. devil tried to attack, Lord, you're getting ready to come online Jesus. and your marriage is going to be better than it ever has been before and you're going to be an attack on the devil and you're going to take ground back and you're going to be able to move like mm -hmm. never before in the name yes. of Jesus. The Jesus. devil's going to do you just like he did Joseph. He's going to say, if I had a known that he was going to do all of that, I would have left him alone, just like Come with Potiphar's on. wife. Yes. Father, I pray now yes. that you put an anointing to my them like, oh, like you did on Joseph, oh God, and just like Potiphar's wife, she said, my Jesus. God, if I if I knew that man of yes. God would have would have done what he's doing now, if I knew that I, I would have had to serve him now, Ooh. I would have left him alone when I was messing with him. But God <laughs> says he's getting ready to bless you. He's getting ready to cause you to prosper. Ooh. He's getting ready to cause your marriage to prosper. He's getting ready to cause that thing to literally just explode. Your marriage Marriage is going to be an example to everybody else. All the hell you've yes, been through, yes, all the yes, trials that you've been through. Yes, that yes, person that says you've been, you grew up in poverty. You came up in the project. You came up on the on the on the south side of town. You came up in the place where everybody else was Jesus. even scared to walk through. I'm telling you, just like me, I came from the second Jesus. poorest city in the second poorest or the poorest city in the second poorest state in the United States. And I'm telling you, I'm not wanting for nothing now. Right. God is has broken poverty over my life, and I'm declaring Jesus. that He's going to break it not only over my life, but I'm going to have enough, amen, to bless my children's 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 children with, amen, I'm laying up in store for them to make sure they're Jesus, taken care yes, of, but yes, not only yes. my biological children, but our, but our spiritual children, yes. we're going to have enough to bless our spiritual children, when one of our Jesus. spiritual children says they want something, I want my enough, God. and I want to prophesy that same oh, thing God. over you, that you'll break create businesses, you'll break, break the mold, the mold. yes, break you mold. will literally break, break molds, molds in Jesus' Jesus name. name. Every devil that's been assigned to stop you, Jesus. we break it now. Every generational curse Jesus. upon your family, you'll turn from generational curses to generational blessings. You'll break generational curses and turn them into blessings. And everywhere the enemy tried to afflict you, you'll cause that to turn around and work for your good. For the word declares that all things are working together for they the good of them that love the Lord. And so it's illegal for the Jesus. enemy to prosper in your life. Although you may see the weapon form, it's illegal for it to prosper <laughs> in the earth. And so we declare now. Now that God is breaking every cycle of lack and of poverty, oh God, and of stagnation Jesus, and yes. anything else that's going on in your life, God is literally breaking it and you're getting ready to come forth like never before in Jesus' name. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name. And I just hear the Lord saying that he cannot stop being faithful. Even with Abraham, Abraham had to have faith in God to leave, to initially leave his family. He had to have faith in God to believe him that his word was was going to come to pass when he promised him that he would be the father of many nations. He had to have faith in God when God told him to offer up Isaac because he had to look back over his life to say, if God did it then, surely he can do it now. Even as he, had, he even as when he had to separate himself from Lot, he loved his nephew. He wanted him, of course, to come with them, but he realized that they they had different ideas, they had different focuses, and God had chosen chosen Abraham, and so he had to release Lot. He said, "You take the best. You take the." 
blessed because the God that I serve, he's able to even transform the worst. Amen. He's able to look at the worst and see the best. Hallelujah. You take what you see as the best, but what I'm going to give to God, I'm going to give him the worst and he's going to create the best mm, out of it. So I don't oasis. care what. Absolutely. He's got is going to turn your desert into an oasis. Yes. He's going to use the bad and he's going to make it good. He's going to make it work for your good because you love him and you're called according to his purpose. Just like with Abraham, I want you to look back over your life and God is saying, look back to where I brought you from. Look what I did before, how I opened doors, how I made a way when there seemed to be no way, how I kept you alive. When the enemy came at you like a flood, it was God that lifted up a standard against him. He cannot stop being God. I know sometimes it looks like that God is asleep, that God has left you because the enemy would, will say to you, God has forsaken you because even Jesus Christ himself said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? But you got to know that God is with you, that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He will not leave you as an orphan, but he said, I will take you up as, as even as um, David cried out unto him and said, God, help me, deliver me, save me. David cried out unto him and God heard him and he delivered him. And so God is not a God that will leave you in your mess. He was not a God mm. that would leave ah, you in poverty. Yeah. He is not a God that will leave you in, in sickness, in depression, in oppression. He would not leave you bound up. He would not leave you in distress. Mm. Hallelujah. And so God is saying, I'm the God that delivers. I'm the God that saves. I'm the God that rescues. I'm the God that opened doors. I'm the God that, of the breakthrough. I am the God of Belperazim. I am the God of mm. the breakthrough. Yes. I break and I cause you to go through. I break it open and I cause you to go through. In Jesus name, this is the time and the season that you're going to go through on dry land. You're not going to be drowned. You're not going to, you're not going to suffer in the name of Jesus, but God said you're going forth on dry land. Yes. God is going to deliver you from your enemies. Amen. When the enemy comes after you, God said, I'll, I'll destroy them by my hand. You don't even have to fight in this battle. God said, continue to move forward, continue to progress, continue to allow me to show myself strong and mighty in your hand. And even one of the things that the Lord said to me, he said, I'm going to cause your enemies to bless you. I'm going to cause, and when your enemies bless you, let mm. me tell you, let me tell you there is no limit there is when when god causes your enemies to bless you mm. Hallelujah. He, they're going to, they themselves are going to work. Even as it said in Isaiah, that you are going to be able to, to harvest the fruit of the land that they had to, they had to work for. And so God is going to give you, God is going to give you such supernatural favor that he's going to cause your enemies to bless you. He's going to cause them to bring things to your hand in the name of Jesus. Don't fret, don't fret not thyself because the evil doers, neither be not envious against the workers of iniquity for they soon shall be cut down like the grass. Don't even pay attention to what the enemy enemy is attempting to do and trying to sabotage you. There's been a spirit of sabotage that the enemy has sent against you, a sin against your mind, sin against your business, sin against your ministry in the name of Jesus. But God said, I'm destroying all of that. I'm removing it. God said, there won't even be a residue of it in the name of Jesus. God said, trust in me. What I'm doing and what God is doing in this season cannot even be explained. You've never seen it before. You've never experienced before. You've never even done it before. Sometimes that's why it seems, uh, it seems seems like, oh my God, what's really going on in my life right now? I can't put a hold on it. I, I don't understand what is happening. God said it's, un a, it's not, you've not been this way before. I know God did some things in the past and he probably did some things last week, but you haven't been where you are today. You have not seen what you've seen today. And so God said, I'm moving by my power and by my spirit. Catch hold of it. Don't fret. Don't look to the left nor to the right, but continue to press, mm -hmm. continue to seek me with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Don't lean to the things that you've learned in the past or what you've seen in the past. God said, I'm doing a new thing. I'm doing a new thing and it is springing forth suddenly in mm -hmm. Jesus name. Amen. Do you receive that today? Come on and bless the Lord. Come on in and just give us some heart and show God that you love him. You appreciate him. Thank God that he didn't leave you where you were. Thank God that he has a plan and a purpose for your life. Hallelujah. And so even like with Abraham, everybody in your family may not understand your business partners may not understand what's going on because they say you need to do something. You know, you see the situation that's happening right now, but I want you to stand still. I don't even want you to answer them. I want you to let God 
God begin to defend you. Let God fight your battle. Let him give you a strategic plan. Hallelujah. Sometimes we try to work it out ourselves and there's nothing wrong with having a vision and having goals. But in this season, you're going to have to trust God blindly. You're going to have to trust him with faith. Even your faith is going to have to have faith in this season. Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory to your name. Your faith is going to have to have faith in this season. You got to go to the next place. You got to go to a place where you completely trust him. You can just walk this thing through. You got to trust him no matter what. You got to trust his word. You got to trust his name. You got to trust his power. You got to trust his provision. You got to trust his peace. You got to trust his favor. Everything that God said, he will surely manifest it in your life. He cannot lie. He cannot change. He cannot forsake you. He cannot leave you. He cannot, he cannot not do what he said. He's going to do. That's right. He's not a man. He's not neither the son of a man. That Amen. he should, that that he he should, should repent. repent. Amen. But if yes. he said it, shall he not do it? And yes. if he spoke it, shall he not make it good? It's already good. It's already done. It, it's let already me tell done. you, you've got to say that it's already good and it's already done. That's it. It's That's already it. good and it's already done. Hallelujah. It's already done. It's already good and it's already done in Jesus' name. Yeah. No enemy can stop it in this season. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to your name. Glory Amen. Listen, to your name. Let's, 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 hey, I want to, I want to see how many people believe Jesus. still that it's your suddenly season. Yes. How many people God. still believe it's your suddenly season? Jesus. I'm telling you, I believe it's our suddenly Ooh. season. Amen. My and I don't God. care what your circumstance Jesus. is, what your situation is. Amen. Even, let me, let me tell you something. Some of you are not in a place where you are just, uh, where you, you know, where you're expecting God to do something supernatural. You don't need a breakthrough, but you just need God to take you to the next level. You already Jesus. blessed. You already doing very well, but you just need God to take you to the next it's level. Next. And so I'm telling you, it's your suddenly season, even for the next level. You got to receive that and, and, and just, just put that up. It's my suddenly season. If you just Jesus. put that up, just agree with me yes. by typing in, it's, it's my, my suddenly, suddenly season. season. Just type it in. It's my suddenly season. Amen. Absolutely. Because I believe that this is the season that you're going to begin to break through. I'm telling you this Ooh, thing, I've had Jesus. people all around the world who have literally called me and said, man of God, this thing, this sudden this season, I believe God is on it and God has breathed on it and Jesus. God's hand is upon this and people are receiving that it's their suddenly season and they're beginning to see God begin to do amazing things. I told you, I was, we were in a meeting with Apostle John. We were in a meeting with Apostle John Eckhart. We were there in a the meeting and God began to say, uh, even as we were talking about hearing the voice of God, God began to say suddenly I'm going to do it. He said not I'm not going to reset you uh, in a few days. I'm not going to flip the switch in another month, another year. He said this is your suddenly, suddenly season. He season. said I'm resetting you and it's your suddenly season. And it was it was just really stemmed from that whole meeting, mm. that whole environment. I'm telling you stay in prophetic environments where yes. your gift can stay stirred. Yes. Don't don't get around people who cause your, your spirit, amen, your spirit man to, to be quenched. Get around people who yes. will cause you to be stirred, that will cause you to get excited about the things of God, who will cause your faith to go to a place where you where you move this word faith is the greek word pistis and it means firmly relying trust mm. get your faith in a place where your faith begins to be a lifestyle Jesus. where your fasting begins to be a lifestyle, lifestyle where your trust in god begins to be a lifestyle, lifestyle. yes get around people who sharpen your iron mm. amen wood can't sharpen iron amen come on <laughs> right. water can't sharpen iron no. you got to get around other iron so it can yes. sharpen iron yes. you got to get around something stronger than iron to be able to sharpen yes. iron and so you cannot be a, you cannot afford to get around people who, 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 who dampen your mood and get you stressed and get you frustrated and want to leech off. You got to get mm. around people to get you excited. excited. That get you excited. Say, man, this is my suddenly season. season. This is my season where God is going to fulfill yes. every promise and every mandate my upon my God. life. Every prophetic word that's been spoken to me over the last 20 years mm. is getting ready to come to pass this year. Jesus. I'm telling you, I'm going to write all the books. I'm going to start all the business. I'm going to graduate from school. I'm going to do everything yes. that I'm supposed to it's do to and graduate. I'm going to do it this year. It is that's right. To I'm going to graduate. It's I'm time. going to finish it's the degree. Time. I'm going to go back to start the business. It's your time. My ministry. Yes. My ministry is going to flourish this yes. year. It was it was waning last year, but this year my ministry is going to flourish. It's getting ready to take off. Yes. Carlos, your ministry is getting ready to take off. Carolyn, your, your business is getting ready to take off. Yes. Your husband's business is getting ready to take off. I'm telling you, every Jesus. business and every ministry and every desire of your heart is getting ready to be fulfilled. You better receive that. 
Amen. Amen. You better receive. Refined Jeez. soldiers, I'm telling you, your CD <laughs> is getting ready to explode. Yes. People all over the world are going to be buying your CD. You got to receive that. You got to believe Jesus. that you believe that you believe. I'm telling you, when Abraham went up to the mountain with, with, with Isaac, he did not have uh, he, he did not have a second plan. He didn't have a second plan. The no. only thing he had was he was believing God faith. by faith his that faith. this was getting ready to be his, his suddenly season. His and he was believing God that he was going to manifest what he promised him and Absolutely. that he was going to do it. Amen. Are you listening to me? So everything right. you've been asking for, God's going to do. No Absolutely. plan B. No plan B. Because even with Abraham, and the word of God says that even against hope. He believed in hope. He believed in hope. Against hope. He believed in Against hope. hope, he believed in hope, and he became the father of many nations. So be, because he was able to, to be the father of many nations, that means he didn't consider. He didn't even once consider mm -hmm. that the deadness of his own body, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb. Come on. He didn't even consider it. Because that, that was an impossible situation. It wasn't even a consideration in his mind because what? God said it. And if God said it, that settles it. I don't even have to believe it. Hey, if God says it, it settles it. Yes. You, 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 you might be like the man who said, listen. Can you imagine? What did the man say? He said, I believe, but help my unbelief. Believe. But right. this is the season where God is not right. only going to manifest it suddenly. He's going to help your unbelief. Right. He's right. going to help your unbelief. I'm telling you, yes. he's going to help your unbelief. Yes. That, that part my of you that, that, that feels like you need a part B to fix something or do something else, Jesus. he's going to help, help that part. My he's going to help your unbelief. Jesus. I decree it. God's going to help your unbelief. unbelief. Trust Amen. me when I tell Amen. you, I've Amen. never seen God fail. Amen. I'm not talking about what I heard. I'm not Jesus. talking about what somebody else my has God. seen or heard. Mm. I'm telling you, God has brought me and my wife out of impossible situations. Impossible. He has brought us from places, I'm telling you, and he has superseded man's law. <laughs> he has superseded man's medicine. He has superseded yes. man's everything. And he has come through. Yes. And he has caused I'm t When I tell you, when they gave her up to die in 2007, here it is, 2017. This is 10 years later. They Jesus. said they was, there was nothing that medical technology could do for her, but here she is. I'm telling yeah. you, God will help Alive your unbelief. Well. When the laws of man said that there was Jesus. nothing else they could do for me, I'm telling you, here I am, free and well. And I'm telling you, God is able to do exceeding abundantly yes. above all that yes. you can ask, and there is oh nothing impossible with him. All things Jesus. are possible with God. Are you listening to me? So I'm telling you, if you believe God, don't you dare get a plan B. Don't you dare get a plan C. All you need with this business plan, when you're doing a business plan for God, all you need is plan A. Because Absolutely. when he says it's going to happen, <laughs> he'll make you have a baby when you're 100 years old, Ooh. when you're 75 years old. Amen. When he'll, he'll make you, he'll cause you to create a baby when your enemies are laughing at you. Absolutely. He'll cause your business Let to you prosper. From college Come on now. Come on now. I saw yes. something. I think one guy was older than that. Graduated from college. Years old, graduated I'm telling from college. you, God it's can do it. It's not too late. It's he not. Can, he can cause your health to spring back yes. speedily. They'll, yes. they'll release you from the hospital and say there's nothing you can do. Yes, that way with family member who says that it is just impossible. It's not going to work. You're not gonna, they're not going to get saved. No, that's right. You're going to be saved. Amen. Amen. Your family members are going to be saved. Only plan A. Are you listening Amen. to me? Amen. My God. We are the seed of Abraham. That's right. And so we walk in covenant with God. To know that God is faithful and we are his descendants, even as God said that, you you know, your descendants will be um, exceeding abundantly above as the sand of the seashore, as the stars of the heaven. And we are part of that covenant, mm -hmm. even with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Amen. And so I'm so grateful that we're part of the lineup, that we have a rich heritage, that Jesus, that we have been adopted by the father. Amen. You sure will. Yes, we have been adopted. And just as Christ is, so are we. Christ is victory. And so are we. He's seated in heavenly places. And so are we. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, it dwells in us. Amen. The same spirit, not a different spirit, but it's the same spirit. Hallelujah. So the same spirit is able to lay hands on the sick that they will recover, that you can speak to the atmosphere and it has to line up that you can speak to the wind and to the storm and say peace be still and it has to be it has to obey you hallelujah hallelujah God said greater things shall you do greater things you've got to get ready for the greater this is your season of the greater the enemy wants to send distractions so that you would not stay focused but the greater is here this is the season of the greater this is the season that you will walk in the fullness of who you really are you don't even know who you are you haven't even begun to tap into the full potential of who you are, what's really on the inside of you. But this is the season that God is unveiling who you really are. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes we, we understand more of who we are by the enemies that we see. Right. The, the very presence of your enemy showing up. Oh my up. God. 
let you know <laughs> that your Who victory you really is at hand. My God, if you don't see the giants, you're not in the promised land. Because I spent, I spent 13 and a half years in the, in the United States Army. And one thing I knew as a combat engineer, Ooh. and my job was mobility, counter-mobility, and survivability. So mm. one thing I know about combat and one thing I know about warfare is that the enemy does not come against unfortified and unnecessary territory. Mm. When the enemy attacked you, he knew that you were strategic ground. And so when an enemy always looks for the strategic ground, he's looking <laughs> for where the electricity is. He's looking for where the power company is. Mm. He's looking for where the money is. He's looking right. for where the food is. He's looking for where the heavy artillery is. Mm. He's mm. not just looking for anybody. He's looking for you because God has specifically <laughs> placed something in you that is strategic. And so that's why you've had to have the attacks that you've had. That's why the enemy has come at you like he has. That's why everything in hell has been unleashed against you. But the scripture declares that no weapon formed against you would prosper. So although it looked like it was being formed against you and it looked like in some circumstances it was prospering, it was not allowed to prosper no, because I'm telling you, you cannot lose with the stuff that God uses. Amen. You can, it's impossible yes. for you, amen, to lose with the stuff that God uses. Will you, hey, will you believe that tonight? <laughs> you got to believe Woo! that tonight. You, you, listen, if you don't believe it, I believe it for yes, you. Yes. Amen. Absolutely. Listen, we're going to consecrate ourselves My as God. always with, our, with the oil of the anointing. Amen. Simone, Simone, will you bring me that oil out of my office that's sitting on my desk? Thank you. You're so sweet. So, um, yes, but I'm telling you tonight, God's going to do some amazing Jesus, things. Now, two God. things I want you guys to prepare for. We're planning to do our internet launch of the Suddenly book with the Suddenly t-shirt on Saturday. Saturday. We're looking to do that Saturday at 1. And so we're planning to have all that up on the website so you can go ahead and order. You can do everything that you need to do. Uh, I am, I am. So will you come for just one minute, please? Please come here, come here. <laughs> so my Lord, this is my child, y'all. Come here, come here. Our I want y'all to meet our, our baby. She, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. She, Chris, she is a chemical engineering student. Come here, you cute. Powerful woman of God. Powerful prophet of God. And so she, uh, she met us about. I think you had to come in the middle. Come in the middle, your, yes, your mom. Middle. Yes. She met us a couple years ago, and this young lady is so faithful. Uh, she was at the uh, she was at the church, and the only reason I knew that she was there was because I started seeing her tithe coming in every week consistently. And I said, "Who is who is Simone? Uh, and who is Simone Campbell?" And so she was sitting in the chair, and she said. I'm Simone Campbell, and so she is so sweet and so quiet, but um, she is the one who created uh, this oil, and so she's a chemical engineering student at the University of South Florida, and uh, I mean, just amazing anointing. She's on our, on yeah, our worship team. She is adorable. Look she at her. Is a, uh, Look at her. <laughs> she's a prophet, I amen, <laughs> and uh, she actually created this from scratch, so she's getting the oil in here, I mean, it's the cinnamon in here. Uh, give them the ingredients. Who want to give them the ingredients? You don't want to. She's so quiet. But I'm telling you, she's a well, po powerful prophet. It comes from the original um, um, word of God from Exodus 30, verses 23 through 25. It's the original greetings that God gave to, to Moses. And so it's myrrh. It is, it is real calamus that's in here as well as calamus oil. It is cinnamon bark. It is, um, <laughs> it is cassia and it is olive oil. And so these five ingredients and every single ingredient represents something very significant and, and is an intricate part of our lives. And so um, as God had put a burden on our heart to really create it and I was even looking for it online and I could not find anything. I could not find anything that really encompassed all of these different things. And so so um, God began to deal with us, and my, and my husband was amazing because God was dealing with me about it, and He was dealing with him about it at the same, same time. time. And so, and so I said, you know, we've got to, you know, I've got to find a way to get this. And then He put Simone on our heart for her to um, to actually it, yeah. to put it together. And so I said, it. it, you know, we got to research on on how to do this, and um, just understanding the intricate. Um, you know, characteristics of the different ingredients. Oh, and wow. So, they um, want it in Guam. Now, Guam wow. is a U.S. territory, so we can you can order it, and we yes. can actually send it. We'll Amen. We'll send it to you. Absolutely. We'll be more than happy to. Go to our website. Amen. It is Lajon, L-A-J-U-N. <sighs> A N D V is in victory. A L O R A Lejean and Valora.com Lejean and Valora.com. And we have different products on there, but we certainly have the oil. It's on the very first page and um, just really excited and want you to be blessed by it. lots of different testimonies, even from this of healing and um, restoration and so forth. But God is faithful. God is so faithful. And you know, 
there's so much in, in the word of God that um, we can use. Amen. Everything that God created was really for our use. Um, the plants, the herbs, the different things in the sea um, is for our use and it's for healing in our bodies. Um, and, and so we got to be able to sometimes go back to the original biblical pattern of what wow. God is doing and what he's saying um, for us today. So most of you have been had, had seen our shirts, the suddenly T-shirts. Amen. Going to that. And so, oh, huh? Go back oh no, here. no, it's fine. They can oh, see okay. it. It's fine. So those are going to be available on Saturday. I'm telling you, I'm praying and for on our the web back developer. It says, it's my suddenly season. It's my season. suddenly season. And then the book will also be ready. Now the other thing that I was telling you guys about earlier, these are two of the manuals from our Christian doctrine and our biblical interpretation uh, for our school. How often do you send it out? We send it out every day. We, if you every ordered yesterday, day. then we send it out. So uh, we're doing our, our uh, Discipleship Training Institute. Uh, and so you can go to www.discipleshipinstitute.org to be able to register for um, our Discipleship Institute. Again, our goal there is in our mission statement. Get something, I'm not sure. Okay. Our, our mission statement is, is the only color blue. Uh, well, blue is for royalty and orange was for victory. victory. So it's kind of prophetic. Right. Amen. Uh, and so um, the shirt on the back. This is just a prototype at the back, at the front side, at the front side of the shirt. I mean, the back side of the shirt is going to say it's my suddenly season. And so you can see that. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit different. Hashtag but... 2K17. Yeah, it'll be mm -hmm. a little bit different than what you see here. This was a prototype. Um, and then... But our goal here at the Discipleship Institute is to help you to discover your gifts and then help you to uh, develop those gifts and then deploy them. Amen. And yes, yes. you can. You can order them. Uh, the, the, usually the only people that we let order those books are the ones that are actually in the school. And if you take the class, but you don't have to take the entire uh, 10, 11 month program. Right. You can take each module at a time. So if you want just discipleship, you can take that. If you want just biblical interpretation, you can take that. If you want just Christian doctrine, if you just want the uh, leadership or the spiritual warfare or the homiletics, you can take that as well. So listen, we love you guys. Love you anoint so yourselves. Thank you. Anoint yourselves. Somebody yes. said they've registered. Yes. Thank you. The registration is free. Uh, for the training, do you have to be in Florida? I'm interested in the school. I'm in Atlanta. You do not have to be. And as a matter of fact, we are actually going to have a location in Atlanta. Uh, amen. If Kim Clement used to sing suddenly, amen. That's oh, an wow. anointing on that. I didn't know Praise that. Praise God. Amen. Wow. We'll let my, yes, yes. So make sure that you check into that. Those of you in Guam, I'm telling you, I was at Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. I stopped there through, on the way back from Australia. I was, in, uh, I was in Queenstown, Australia. I think it was, yes, it was Queenstown, Australia. We were coming back from exercise, and we stopped in Guam uh, on the way. Amen. So uh, we would love to connect with you in Guam. Inbox yes. us. The brothers and sisters, the sister from Guam Evangelist, inbox us on yes. our page, uh, Lejean Valor, so we can get connected with you. Because we would yes, love to come back to... Yes, we do come to Jacksonville. We Absolutely. certainly do. We have a church in Jacksonville. We have a spiritual son and daughter, Car Carlise uh, and Randall Kiesenberry. They have a church there, uh, Kingdom Harvest Worship Center there in Jacksonville. And so we come there all the time to minister with them. And yes, we do. We have what we... The School of the Prophets, uh, where is the school in Atlanta? I will get you that information. Amen. And the book and the t-shirt will be available on our website by Saturday. Do we have a school of the prophets? We teach, uh, man, wow, that's amazing. I'm telling you, you know, I was, you know, I'm right because I went to Anderson Air Force Base there. I remember, I remember like it was yesterday. Let me tell you this quick story. Wow. But let me tell you about the school of the prophets. Our school of the prophets is encompassed within our gladiator camp. And we have what we call a gladiator camp. Here's what we teach the prophetic. Uh, we teach uh, intercession and we teach spiritual warfare. And we combine all three of them when we're teaching it. Because our system is that we believe all three of them really work together. together. Although if some people teach them separately, we like to teach them together because of the fact that we believe that if you learn the prophetic and put it together to fight the things in spiritual warfare, uh, and then um, do you have to be in leadership? No, you don't, you don't have to be no. in leadership. No, mm -hmm. no. We, we teach people and train people from all different uh, categories. Yeah, and different churches even take part in it as well. You know, pastors will send, you know, some of their members there. Um, to our school to take the um, take the courses. So, Amen. Mm -hmm. So yes. Yeah, so we love training. We love impartation. We love activating. 
And so let's pray. Those of you that have the oil, anoint your children, anoint your family, anoint your house, anoint your business, anoint your business plan, anoint your manuscript, amen, anoint your wife, anoint your husband, anoint everything, amen, that pertains to you. What I do is I always love to anoint my ears, amen. Yes, yes thank you so much. Orientation is March 11th, and the class starts March 20th for the DTI, amen. It yes. is an on, it is online it as is. well. Yes, it, it is. is. It is. Yes. And so, um, amen, hallelujah. Uh, yes, that's right. That's right. So anoint your family, anoint everything that pertains to you, because I'm telling you when we consecrate things to God and we pray and we prophesy and we declare, I'm telling you, God begins to move for us like never before. Listen, we love you guys. We love love you you guys. Continue to pray one for another. As you see, um, people, you know, their names go up. We are family. We're family here and we're standing together strong. Amen. We don't win until everyone wins. We, we don't, we, you know, and so we rejoice with you. We're so excited excited to be able to stand. It's a, it's a great privilege to be able to stand with you, to believe God on your behalf. We don't want anyone. We will not allow anyone to be left behind. Everyone is going to receive something great from God. Amen. Amen. You're not next. You're now, you're now, you're now. Karimu. I think that I'm, if I'm mispronouncing your name, please forgive me. You were asking about the, the gladiator course. We've taught them probably in about 15 different cities. Mm-hmm. And so if you're in a city that you believe that it would benefit your city, inbox us on Facebook. Yes. And what we would do is we will, we will, we will personally come to your city mm-hmm. and we will put the training on. Amen. We'll rent the facility. We'll do whatever. And we'll right. do it just for a love offering. So we don't have a problem. You know, it's no, there'll be no registration. If there's a city that they want us to bring the gladiator course to, uh, then we will come. We will bring our people. We will make sure uh, that we, train amen and that we activate people that we prepare people and then um you know that's what we do and so there's no would be any registration for that we're praying we believe god for businesses that allow us we have a leadership training company exponential group global and other entities and there are many of you who've sown seeds as a matter of fact somebody western union a seed today just from um just it's two days the training the gladiator camps are two days, two days. it's a friday afternoon and then a saturday morning and afternoon amen so let, let us know. Let us know. Uh, inbox us if there's cities that you want us to come to. Uh, if, you wanna, if you want us to come to Guam, we'll come to Guam. There's yes. no place that we won't come. <laughs> we'll yes. come to Dallas, Texas. We'll, again, we'll rent our own facility, and we will put the thing on. And then people just, if whatever people sow and give, then that's, that's what we receive. But, yes. uh, but God has blessed us so well that we don't have to necessarily do it for any other I think you pooped my pants. Praise the Lord. Yep, that's going to block what he said. Yep, we don't have that. Amen. So we thank God for it. Listen, we love you guys. Yes, Kingdom yeah, Harbor Church, Bears, Randall, and Carlos yes. Kiesenberry, Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. And we're not in California. We're in Tampa, Florida, but we will come to California. We yes, have friends in we California. Love California. Uh, uh, <laughs> Prophet Timothy Alden, he's in Los Angeles. And yes. so uh, we, we wouldn't mind coming there. And I think we have some other friends in Whittier. So, and then we got other friends in, uh, out by Fort Irwin, uh, California. So Mm -hmm. South Carolina, we got friends all down through South Carolina in Spartanburg and in Columbia. Oh, uh, Cajun chef in Guam. Wow. Wow. I know we got to come now. We're coming to Guam. (laughs) I know I wanted to come back. Amen. (laughs) What about one-on-one mentoring? Yes. If you are, you are a prophet and you want to be, you know, I'm, we need you in Oxford. Now I'm from West Helena, Arkansas. Amen. Mm. Uh, and so that uh, we passed, we passed through Oxford on yes. Highway Nine, going yes. to West Helena. Yes. And so, uh, so yeah, <laughs> inbox us in Facebook, Philadelphia inbox us wherever you want us to come to. Yes. We will come, Amen. If you're in Dubai, we'll come to Dubai, Amen. We don't have a problem. We'll come to Australia, Amen. Arkansas is in the house, my hometown, Woo! West Helena, Arkansas. Yes. Philadelphia will come wherever you need us to come. Just inbox us on Facebook, Facebook, Jonesboro. Matter of fact, my younger sister has a house in Jonesboro still, yes. Amen. And so, yes, Trinidad. We, we lived in Tampa and Key West. Okay, wow. Oh. Yeah, you got to inbox us. Amen. Philadelphia inbox us. Helps the Georgia. My, my wife's uh, brother lives in Albany. Albany. I mean, in, you know, in August. You got one in Augusta, Augusta and one in, in Albany. Albany. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And my aunt went to University of Pine Bluff. So, uh, <laughs> yes, we need an airplane suddenly. But God is going to get suddenly, us there. Suddenly, yes. But uh, Evangelist Prayer, make sure you inbox us. Anybody yes. that wants us to come to your city. And you would help us to gather people in the city to, to, to do gladiator camps, to do leadership trainings, mm-hmm. to do whatever. Let us know. And what we'll do is we'll set it up. We'll have our administrative team start setting it up. Mm-hmm. And we'll come to that city. If you'll help us to be able to gather people in your city, we will come. Amen. 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 So great listen, things. Great things. We love you. We're love getting you. out of here. We'll love talk so to you much. soon. We'll see you tomorrow. Amen. Yes.
One o'clock. Yes, you were about <laughs> to speak. Oh, one on one mentoring. You can either call one eight four four. Um, we are cold. We are W E R C O L E. So one eight hundred. We are cold. Or you can inbox us at info at and we can talk about the one-on-one mentoring. Amen? Amen. Amen. Is there a fee for which one? Which one do you want to know if there's a fee for? Let me wait on this, this question. Somebody asked, was there a fee for something? And was there, oh, for the mentoring? You know, if you just, if you just call my wife, one eight four four we are cold then she'll give you some instructions on that. Uh, but usually not a fee for yes. anything. Just if you just, just, just bless her. If you just bless her, amen, she'll be all right. Amen? Well, listen, we love you. We're getting out of here. We'll talk to you soon. Shalom, Bye-bye. shalom.